Hello everyone on YouTube. Uh, today we're doing a review of the Comfort Mobility by eBike Pros. eBike Pros is a Canadian company. They're based out of Hamilton, so they, they carry a wide range of products. They've been in the business for quite a while. So their models come with some of the best coverage uh, warranty in Canada. This one in particular has a lifetime warranty on the frame, uh, brake pads, and I believe the motor as well. So that's something reputation wise that no one else in the in industry really has. So doing an overview of the scooter, very good looking scooter. This one in particular was custom painted. Uh, normally they come in two color selections. They either come in red or black. That's what they have available. Obviously you could paint it if you wanted to, like this one was. This one's got a couple of Indian motorcycle decals. They did it up nicely. So we're currently selling this at our store uh, for $1,500. Um, so we're doing a little bit of a sale on that. New, these are $299.99 and that's taxes inclusive. So $3,000, you can get yourself one of these brand new uh, shipped to you. That doesn't uh, include any shipping charges or the assembly. Uh, we include the assembly for free and the PDI, so the inspection when you buy it brand new. So moving around the scooter, we've got a fairly wide seat, actually very comfortable. It's about the size of a large office chair. Moving around to the back, this is just overall a very big scooter. It's not like a dinky machine. Uh, these weigh about 200 pounds. So they're not meant to be moved around um, or lifted. Um, obviously it'd be very hard to steal with that kind of a weight. Going to security, speaking of theft, it's got multiple ways to secure it. First thing is the, um, the bars lock. So that just gets pushed in and then you can't turn the bars. So that's a cool uh, feature so they can't roll it. There is a parking brake on these. So if we look over here, right underneath, there's this little pretty much pin and you squeeze the brake in and then you push up on that pin and it locks the brake so the scooter can't be moved. These scooters do come with an alarm function as well. They have an alarm security uh, standard. So when you press that, if someone ever touches your scooter, it'll go haywire on them. Moving to the back here, we got a um, good amount of storage on these. Let's lift this up. So can fit probably a couple bags of groceries in there. There's a charger. These come standard with a smart charger. So you can just plug it in. You don't have to worry of it overcharging. Underneath here, there's another key. So you turn that and then this whole rear comes up. You got an ample storage under there. You have a circuit breaker. Many scooters and e-bikes come with this uh, standard. It's pretty much just a safety function. If anything electrically, you know, happens with a scooter, a short or something that'll just trip just like your home, home breaker. So it's also a main power off switch. So if you're storing this scooter for long periods of time, you want to have that flipped off. We'll turn it back on. This just locks, grab the key. You notice down there, there's a couple of extra wheels. Uh, had multiple people ask us what those are for. Pretty much that's if you're on an extremely high incline, um, the scooter could tip up. I've never found that the case. Um, the very even weight distribution on these. So it's kind of just a legality uh, safety thing for that. We'll come over here, turn the scooter on. We'll show you what the lights and stuff look like. Key in, power's on. You know power's on when your battery meter goes from low up to high. So we've got the turn signals, they display on there. Also front and rear. So you can see that one flashing there. Then you've got them up in the front there. Turn signals, you've got um, horn, very loud horn. Uh, and then you've got your headlights with a high beam and low beam switch, standard. Obviously it's daytime out, so it's not as bright. So we'll turn that off and uh, we'll do a little test drive. Uh, these come equipped with uh, hydraulic brakes, which uh, will stop you really quickly. So just sitting on it, we have a high, medium and low speed gear modes. So you can change depending on how fast you wanna go. I highly recommend you start out if you buy one of these in low, because they are quite quick. It's one of the quicker machines that you can get. If you're not really looking for a full mobility, 
Maybe you're just, you know, not as well balancing on a bicycle, but um, you know, you don't want to be in a, a very slow sort of a scooter like that. You still want to be able to get around, keep up with the bike, bicycles and all of that. This is a very good option. Like I say, this is a very quick thing. So we'll start off. So moving around here in low gear we are right now. See that, taking it up the road. We get to about, almost just above 10K. So about almost 15K just on low. So come to a stop there. Many people ask about tippage. Um, one thing about these scooters is they have a differential. So if I try and tip this right away, the motor cuts out. So it's very, very hard to tip these. You have to go slow around the corners, obviously, um, so that way you don't lose your you know, stability. Um, so let's just do a nice little smooth turn there. Obviously not pinning it on the corners, same with any other bike. Um, so handling, very good. Um, stays planted, like I say, these things weigh about 200 pounds, so they're not very easy to test. Oh, so we got a little patch of water here. These have fenders. They can go through light water. Um, they're water resistant, not waterproof. So you want to avoid water, but if rain or any sort of, um, you know, small amounts, it doesn't affect the scooter. Um, so now we'll kick it into medium. It has suspension front and rear, um, actually for a very smooth ride. It's now in medium gear. We're picking up above 20 now. So definitely quick enough to keep up in a bicycle lane. This is not something you would want to drive indoors. You would want to keep it in low. Obviously with the throttle, it's variable. So on any of the speeds, you can go slower than, like we're only going about three here, but you're not gonna fully crank the throttle, right? So now, very good on the bumps. Very bumpy around here. Okay, now we will put it in to high gear and we'll hit it. As you can see, the battery meter moves a little bit. It's not fully charged, so we're not gonna be able to get as quick as um, when it is fully charged. So, almost getting up to 30. I found on a full charge, I can almost get up to around 31, 32K an hour, um, which is quick enough for almost anyone. Okay, we'll move back around here. Do a little braking test. So, wow, yeah, it's got strong brakes. We have a reverse mode as well. You hit that, it beeps, lets you know, and reverse is very slow. Um, it's even slower than the low mode. And then obviously drive. So yeah, that's just an overview of the scooter. Um, wanted to make that quick review. Uh, overall, would I recommend it? Yes, um, with e-bike pros, they have a great warranty. Very premium quality scooter. This isn't a cheap machine. Over the years, uh, this, this particular model is a couple years old. He's been using it in the rain outside. They, they put over a much better coat of paint on these. Obviously, there's a little bit of mud, but frame-wise, no rust at all. So a lot of the scooters on the market, they aren't double-coated with paint, or they're, they're just sort of cheaply made. They're flimsy. This scooter, very solid. Negatives, downside of this scooter... Only thing I could see is on the used market, there is no like odometer for these. Um, so if you're buying used, I would definitely do a check over on it. Look at the tire tread, make sure this one's got the original nubs on it so you can sort of tell. And yeah, just check overall condition. They're, they're very reliable. We've only had like a few come in for repairs and most of the repairs we've done have been because of like they got in you know hit a curb or something like that minor or got a flat tire e-bike pros carries all the parts um, if you buy it from a dealer you know you'll have that availability worth versus some of these other brands don't carry them so yeah one of the better options i know geo has a scooter that's similar for a little bit less um, so is nexa i believe uh, the company is who's come out with some that are very cheap i would uh, stay clear of those potentially look into this as an option if you can afford it one more thing to note before the review ends here we got pretty much an adjustable seat so that can be moved forward or backwards so yeah guys that's pretty much it you can comment if you have any questions and uh, yeah have a good one